Media practitioners have been charged to always go the extra mile, break barriers, pay attention to details and put their mind and the job to get to the pinnacle of their careers. The director of news television Continental, Stella Dean Jacob, handed down this charge while speaking with journalists shortly after receiving the Lifetime Award for Journalistic Excellence from the Wale Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism. Plus, the Venice correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more in this report. It is the 17th edition in the series of the Wale Shoinka Award for Investigative Reporting. The forum has seen about 109 finalists awarded, 56 Shoinka laureates and 12 investigative journalists of the year. This year, 13 journalists were shortlisted out of 218 applications received. In the television category, Abdulaziz Abdulaziz of Trust TV emerged winner. For the radio category, Baba Today Okunlola came top, while the Jilambo of the Punch newspaper won that of the print. For all line, Taiwo Adebayo grabbed the coveted prize. A foremost undercover journalist, Anas Aramaya from Ghana, held the audience spellbound as he narrates his experience on the job. Get threats have become normal in day, and I guess it's not just me, but my colleagues here will testify to people wanting to get you. You see, with undercover journalism, people really understand what they can do to them when they are caught taking money on tape. What that means, apart from being not being punished by even the government, society itself has its way of punishing you. So people are more dangerous when it comes to receiving undercover, and you have to. The director of news, TVC News, Stella Dean Jacob, was presented with a lifetime award for journalistic experience. The moment was both emotional and joyous for the media Amazon. Abiola Akiyo de Afolabi was also awarded for her work on anti-corruption and human rights. Speaking with journalist Stella Dean Jacob describes the business of journalism as a way of life. For me, the business of journalism is a way of life. It is not a job. It is not something I divorce myself from when I close from the office. Because you know what we are, business of broadcasting, dynamic, news breaks this minute. You're not going to wait until tomorrow to break what happened at 10 o'clock today at 6 o'clock the next day. So if you do not develop a liking for what you do, it is not likely that you're going to succeed. While harping on the need for men of the fourth estate of the realm to take their job seriously, she cautioned against fake news, describing the trend as worrisome. See that fake news and uh, underhanded tactics and practices are looking like the order of the day. Because at the end of the day, we're all tarnished with this brush. So we must work together to rid our business of these people who give us a bad name. Anyone who's not worried about fake news then probably doesn't understand what is reposed in us as journalists. Like previous editions, it wasn't a winner takes it all. All the runners up got consolation prize money and plugs. Love Ikuku Oyedokun, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.